The Micro Challenge is a brand new, exciting rally series being staged in Northern Ireland. Six rounds of exciting, entertaining, close competitive racing, which all got underway at Kirkiston as part of the Euro Cables Rally. With the events, we've obviously started the challenge with uh, two circuit-based rallies, which is Kirkuson and uh, Bishop's Court in three weeks. Uh, then we move on to the closed roads. So we've, we've picked the challenge that it's two circuit rallies, two closed road rallies, and then two forest rallies at the end of the year. With the last forest rally, uh, we've made double scoring points to try and give a bit of a boost if you haven't had a good run or whatever. If you're a forest driver, you've still got equally as good a chance as the guys that are good in tarmac. So, um, yeah, it's six good rallies, and um, it, it's definitely different levels of um, competitiveness because obviously some people are good on the tarmac, some people are better in the woods. So they'll come into the, the field at the end of the year. You know it'll be there. That's their time. Peter Dowds is one of the driving forces behind this innovative series. So the Mega Challenge start is a bit of fun uh, between myself and Weavy and a couple of friends. And um, yeah, we, we sort of sat down and said, let's do some rallying. And everybody got their cars and got ready. And we've been working away. Obviously, COVID hit and it all stopped. And after COVID, we came back and uh, gathered everybody up and uh, we've, we've got some cars gathered up now for it, so we've got the challenge up and going, and we're, we're happy now that it's it's looking like it's got good interest coming, you know. So we're we're happy. And there was plenty of drama in round one. And if somebody wanted to sign up, how could they go about that? So basically, rallyscore.com. We have. Um, the micro challenge is on rallyscore.com. You go on and enter from that. It's only a small nominal fee. Um, there's a lot of guys, experienced guys with micros that have many bits and pieces of them and we're, or would be willing to talk young people through to get them going, you know what I mean? It's, it's all about trying to get younger guys into the sport at an affordable rate. You know, it's, it's as you can see today, there's a lot of big cars and it's, it's quite expensive, th those things. But uh, we've tried to bring these cheaper cars into the... Uh, rallying for the younger guy, so it's uh, that's what we're trying to do. There's a few people from England have, have inquired now to come across, and we've set up a boat deal now for them to try and get involved and, and bring more people to it. So we're going pretty well. That we've got 13, I think 13 registered cars. They're obviously not all here today. Everybody's still completing their cars and building their cars, but it's. Um, I think if it, once everybody's out now, it will be very competitive. It'll be a lot of fun, and for sure, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll have a bit of crack on the Saturday night. <laughs> and the experienced drivers are thrilled with the interest so far. This is a really good start. I think with nine nine uh, cars out today, which is really good for a one make challenge. Um, and there's other people, that we, certainly other people registered and there's other cars being built at the minute to join. So we're hoping uh, just to show that we've, we've got it up and running and I think other cars will join us in due course. What sort of speeds do you think you're doing out there today? Oh, I'm not sure. It's so hard to judge. You know, these cars are probably amongst the slower cars at the circuit. You know, I don't know, maybe if you're hitting 80 or something at the, the fastest points, you know. Certainly the, the top cars are probably touching 100 mile an hour in places, you know. Um, but it's fast enough when you're sitting inside the car. The focus is, of course, being fast, but also to have fun. Raymond Mason, it makes me 65, coming 66. I, I, think, I think I'm doing okay for my age, is all I can say. Uh, I haven't looked at any of the times because I don't want to uh, see them. If they're really bad, I would rather not see them. <laughs> so, uh, but I think we're I think we're doing okay. Sean Tracy from Lisburn. I own Matcon Shop Fitting, and uh, I was asked by Pete and the boys if I would get involved. I've been involved in rallying for many many years myself, competing at a reasonably high level in the historic rallies in Ireland. 
So when they asked me would I be interested in sponsoring them here for the, sh for the Micro Challenge, I thought, yeah, why not? I'd get involved in that. <laughs> I was born in a garage many years ago. My parents had a garage in Fermanagh, and uh, we used to race cars around a field, basically. And from that there, it developed to driving a little bit faster and a little bit faster until you got your license. And then when we went to the university, you got uh, into the motor club and became involved in night navigation events. And from that, it eventually led to rallying at a higher level. My name is Philip White and I'm from Antrim. And in terms of racing then, how did you get involved in that? Well, it sort of goes back to my father really, my grandfather even. Uh, sort of any kid starting out motorsport. I was about 12 years old whenever I stepped into filling off this car for the very first time. And we did a couple of all-track events whenever it was a one-litre engine and then gradually progressed on to the Junior 1000 Championship, which has progressed into the Forestry Championship down south. But no, I've, I've had this car basically all my rally in life and I've, I'm very commendable to it because it's been reliable and you've been able to do the necessary upgrades for it and keep it competitive and like the battle going on today with me and Stevie Whitford, that's, that's seven seconds between us, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, obviously there's wee bits of differences between the cars, like mine's a narrow body while the other micros have a wee bit wider wheels and uh, big, better brakes at the same time, but Whenever you dial back to it, it's sort of very similar in power and, and keeping it as low cost as possible, that's the main objective. Yeah, and in terms of a micro then, um, why did you choose that? Uh, well, it was the first car that I had and then whenever we finished the one litre series, we, we looked about, we tried to see what would suit the car or suit me to go into. and. Uh, the smartest option financially would have been to get into this thing and like the running costs of it are very cheap uh, the results that it's been putting out and the reliability that it's given me over the past couple of years is nothing short of impressive and I'm I'm very happy to have it as a car um, but no it's just it's an all-around great car to have and even if you're going into motorsport or you're at a sort of ripe old age as some of the some of the competitors that we have in the championship are stepping back into micro it's it's a great it's a great option and so why did you sign up to be a passenger in the micro challenge um, i just rallying with philip the last two years and we've had good results winning the championship twice so i said i'd give the micro challenge a go with him um, what inspired you to get into being a passenger in the car? Um, my father rallied for years, so then I just kind of was natural to follow in his footsteps and just get into it then. Some micro challenge participants are making their rallying debuts. My name's Cloda, I'm from Fermanagh. And I joined a motor club there about a year and a half ago, but I have a lot of family who kind of have been co drivers in the past, so it was always something that I wanted to get my foot in, like in the door for. So, um, just whenever I got an opportunity, someone asked me if I wanted to sit with them and I took it up. So this is actually my first rally today. So um, new experience, but it's going well so far. Yeah. And why a micro? What's so special about this car? To be honest, I think it's a good entry point. You know, if you're not used to the, the high speeds or anything, it's good to kind of get your bearings and just sort of understand how the navigating works and the roll and everything and reading maps and everything. So it's a really good starting for myself. The veterans couldn't stay away either. Jack Shields, it's just to know a lot of the boys are doing it, so I thought I would have to join in and um, before I get much older. <laughs> How long have you been racing for? Well, I, it's a long time since I've done rallying. I've done a bit of rally cross and then years ago done a bit of rallying in a mini, but that's, I'm a pretty novice really. Well, probably it's, it's not too expensive and, you know, we can get more people into it and the more fun and, I mean, I'm only here for a bit of fun and enjoy the rally and the sport. Uh, my name is Derek Crossan. Um, I'm 76. I've been rallying 50 years. I just like driving fast cars. <coughs> that's, that's all there is to it. And what is it about the micro that makes it so special? There's nothing that, that a two-wheel drive car that it handles as well as it. The handling on them is just superb. I'm Ken Kenny from Bangor, I'm 45. Yeah, and why did you sign up to the challenge today then? 
Um, just for the a bit of crack, just for the entertainment value. So, and I've had an absolutely amazing day. It's been brilliant. And we understand this is your first ever rally. Yeah, I've never done this before. So yeah, really good. Mark Murr. And where are you from? Donovan. And what made you get involved in the micro challenge? Um, sort of just been rallying these last few years and stuff, and I have that gear, so I just thought then it was, I just give it a go, you know, just see how we get on. Um, it's good starter gear, uh, for you know, like myself here, I'm only learning there yet and stuff, and that's great for learning. That sort of way, you know, just instead of just stepping on the sun a bit bigger, step on that, and away you go, just see it's, it's cheap, it's cheap and cheerful, like it's not, it's not too. Old over cost or anything like that, but no, I stayed on. Like. Tell us what's going on here. Um, a bit of a mishap with Shaquille in the first stage, and then seconds took a front corner out of her, but the second stage there with no brakes, so trying to get that sorted here now and get out for stage three, so see how we get on. How difficult will that be to fix then? Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, we're just waiting on, waiting on someone to go back now and fix it for us, just so we a couple of moments to fix it. Shouldn't think too hard. <laughs> My name is Paul Hone, I'm from Claudie. Well, just as we went to go out in the third stage, the starter stuck on, so we, uh, we now have no starter, so we have to be very careful and not stall. So uh, just, just have to be that wee bit more careful in every stage now to make sure we get finished. Sadly, things didn't go Paul and Jordan Hone's way, and they will be back to fight another day. The leader so far is Stephen Whitford. How are you getting on today? Uh, so far all good. I think we have four stages out of six done and everyone's been good for us, no, no issues. And you're winning so far? Yes, I think we're 10 seconds maybe in the lead, so it's a tight race. That's after four stages, so it's uh, touch and go. Small mistake, you can lose a lot of time. So, so far that hasn't happened. In damp conditions, it certainly was a great battle at the front. Whitford and co-driver Johnny Hart, impressive around the county down circuit. Organisers hope thrilling action like this will attract more new young talent to the series. to get involved they, you, obviously a lot of rally people are involved through their fathers or brothers or family members that have been going to the rally so that's sort of how many people would be involved um, as far as getting involved with a car you, you know we go out and try and get get yourself a cheap car and build it up from there it doesn't have to be the ultimate micro it can be a cheap and cheerful micro and still join in you'll have there will be somebody down through the race you know, to, to race in, in the field. You know, it's not about all the cars aren't all the exact, exact same spec. I think if, if anybody bought it themselves a, a micro, they'd be involved with a battle somewhere in the field. After the sixth and final stage, Peter and Stephen Dowds took third place in the final placings. Philip White and Brian Rowan finished as runner-up. They were fastest in the last two stages, but couldn't overhaul the eventual winners. Stephen Whitford and Johnny Hart. So you've won by 9.6 seconds, how do you feel? Ah, good, uh, really enjoyed it. It was a close race all day. Um, and it's very tricky out there, a lot of changing conditions, so we're just happy to win, you know, it's good. It's sort of a case of ifs and maybes, you know, if we had a different tire choice or uh, if we hadn't got held up, it might have been a closer battle towards the finish line, but full credit to Stephen, he drove a very strong race and you know, you can maybe take one or two seconds out of him, but it wasn't anything more than that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to finish second today. Obviously, we, we, this is new to me and uh, we set out thinking, if you'd give us third this morning, I would have took it all day long. Then we uh, had a bit of a problem with the car and I, th I thought we were actually going to go home early, but uh, we, got it, we managed to get it sorted. And um, thankfully we held on to our third place, so really, really happy. So a super opening micro challenge, join us for the next one at Bishop's Court.